Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to show you something that I am doing with these journal pens that I've been making. Um, I Some of them I just hang beads and I load beads on here and just hang them. And I've got a video showing you how I did that. But And then some of them I hung ribbons. But I'm hanging these fabric pieces lace and sheer pieces and stuff today and then i'm using a bulb pin and i'm hanging a dangle down here on the end so i thought you might like to make one with me we are going to start with 18 gauge wire this is what i use i get it at hobby lobby with a coupon <laughs> and we are gonna cut about 12 inches give or take um, and I've already got a um, tutorial showing you how to do the wire pins the journal pins so if you haven't seen that you can go back and watch that if you want to because I'm not going to go real slow um, on this one so that I can keep the video from being too awfully long but anyway you just fold your journal I mean, your journal, listen to me, fold your wire <laughs> in half and then take something round. I use a pencil because it just happens to be, if I can hold on to it, happens to be the size that I want my pins to be. So I just take a pencil and I just fold that wire around till it almost touches. And then I'm going to take one piece of the wire and I'm going to fold it at an angle. And I'm just keeping it on the pencil. It just kind of helps to keep it from messing up my little rounded circle part there for right now anyway. All right. And then I'm going to take this guy and I am going to make a swirl. You can swirl either direction any way you want to. I just kind of like to go that way. Now these are nylon jaw pliers so that you can continue with your swirl um, without scratching your wire. And so you just, and it keeps it good and flat for you too. So I just make my swirl come up to about there. The, the swirl is facing the end of the journal pen. Okay. Now I think I'll go ahead and take this pencil out now to be okay now you just decide about how long you want it i'm going to use this piece of fabric so i want to make sure that i've got it long enough that's going to be pretty long i think i'll shorten my fabric a little and then i'm gonna usually i say go down here to the end and make a real tiny loop but but since i want to put a bulb pin in that loop i'm gonna make my loop a little bigger so come around Take the pliers out, put them back in, down, rotate toward the head, and over. And you can see I cut way too much wire, but that's okay. Flatten that out a little bit. And like I said, if you haven't seen my video on how I make this, I've got a tutorial that'll show you in lots more detail, a lot slower step by step. But today, all I'm really wanting to do is load this fabric I wasn't happy with that. You can take these nylon jaw pliers and straighten your wire out a little. I had a little kink in it. I wasn't too happy. But I do want it bowed. See how I bowed it just a little bit? That helps it to stay in place. I cut the end at an angle, a point. I'm going to fold it up a little. And I'm also going to fold this end up just a little. So it should look like that when you get through with it then this one just fits up underneath there now what i do once i put it on my journal page and i go ahead and close that i take this and i just i'm not going to do it now because i won't be able to well i could do i could still use it i just fold it back around and see that locks it in place because it doesn't stay in place real well i don't want you to lose it so you can just lock it in place but see now i can't get it open without undoing it so that's okay so i'll just undo it when i get ready to open it and then all i was doing is taking my um piece of fabric i got two pieces here they're layered up 
and I'm just going to use a little bit of this three in one. Um, like I said, it's what I have. You can use Fabri-Tac. You can use hot glue, which if I was at my regular desk, I probably would, but I didn't want to bring hot glue in here where I film. It wasn't worth it to me. Oh, goodness, I'm getting it all over me. Y'all know this stuff will eat up your fingernail polish, so <laughs> if you got fingernail polish that you care about, mine's a mess right now, I don't care, but this stuff will sure eat it up. All right, and I'm just holding that for just a second to let it dry enough that we can, that I can set it down. Dries, it grabs really quick. But as you can see, I just have two layers. I've got this beautiful embroidered looking, I don't know what you would call it, but it's just a sheer that was gifted to me. And then this sparkle lace behind it. And I just cut them different just to be fun. Why not? Okay, so now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to let it finish drying so I'm just going to kind of, I don't want to set it on this in case it sticks to the fabric. And now we're going to make a dangle because I didn't have one that I liked. So I'm going to make one. This is some beautiful Aurora Borealis crystal. Oh, it doesn't look so pretty on the camera probably, but it's just some junk jewelry piece that I have had for ever. Um, I don't even know where it came from. Somebody probably gave it to me, but I'm not totally sure. But I thought that would look so pretty dangling from this. And it also looks so pretty with our little design. So with the fabric, I'm going to take um, a little jump ring here. I'm just going to open this jump ring. I'm using a pretty big one because I got to go around that little embellishment, this little circle thing here. So I'm going to put that jump ring in there and I'm going to put this in an eye pin. This is about a two inch eye pin. And then I'm going to close my jump ring. So see, now I've got this part with the beautiful crystal dangling. Okay. So that's all I've done so far. All right. And then I decided I wanted a crystal, which is a bitty, bitty, bitty one and two bead caps, but they had to be super tiny. So these are the tiniest ones that I've got. If they're not real tiny, they'll hide your bead. You don't want it to hide your bead because this, it, these are Swarovski crystals and I don't want to hide them. They're gorgeous. So I just put a bead cap before, a bead cap after, and then another crystal. So there's what we have. Can you see that? All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my round pliers down at the end. I'm going to bend it over at an angle, just like you would do an earring. Pliers go up on the top. See, the pliers were here, okay? They were here. Now they're here. Now I moved them over. Let me see if I can show you that again. Okay. The pliers were here when I bent it over. All right. Now I'm moving them to the top. And I'm going to go up and over the pliers. And then I'm going to, st oh, I took the pliers out. I stick them back in there. And I'm going to take that wire and I'm just wrapping. I really hope you can see. It's hard to see what somebody's doing on camera. I understand that. <laughs> so, and I wrap until these beads get kind of tight. When I feel them get kind of tight, I know that I'm there. All right, and then we're going to take our flush cutters or our nipper tool, whatever you call it, and we're going to cut that little guy off, and then we are going to press him down just to make sure there's no sharp edges. I think I see a little bit of an edge. There we go. Okay, so now we are ready. I'm just using the flat part of these pliers, this part right in here, and I am just kind of flattening that because I want it to be really flat. Now we're ready to attach it to the bulb pin. So for that, I'm going to go with a much smaller jump ring 
an itty bitty jump ring. Okay, so we're going to open the jump ring. We are going to put on our cute little beaded dangle. And then we're going to go back over here and we're going to get this guy. But I want that crystal to be in the front. And I'm notorious for putting things backwards when they can only go one way. It seems like it always happens. <laughs> I hope that's forward. But so many times I have to take it off and turn it around because I did it backwards again. <laughs> okay, let's see how it looks. So now we've got our little dangle. Look at there, look at there. Is that so pretty? So we've got a journal pin. It's got the laces hanging down from it. And we have a beautiful little dangle. Now you know how to make the dangles, right? So that is all there is to it. So here's this one that we made. Look, it still wants to go backwards. <laughs> here's the one I already had done in with the copper. And like I said, I can put, um, I just put a jump ring here. Um, I could put a another bulb pin there, but I didn't because then it would end up being really, really long. And I kind of like it kind of that short. So anyway, guys, go and have a wonderfully creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.